Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat are right where they need to be. And that's number one in the Eastern Conference. Now, I did post about the game the other day, and one of the fans on the other team, I believe, said that I exaggerated what the Miami Heat are, but they have everything they need. They have players like Max Struess, Victor Aladipo, and even Markeith Morris that can decide a game at any given moment. So that's what they did today. Against the Toronto Raptors, we ended up winning 114 to 109. Max Struess, he ended up being the player of the game, having 23 points, three rebounds, one assist, shot seven of 10 from the field, and seven of nine from three point range. He was a plus 10 and a plus minus, which tied for highs in the entire game. I love him in the starting lineup. He gives the Heat, I would say, an extra boost in place of Duncan Robinson. There's so many things that he can do on the court, and it's really underrated. Bam Adebayo, he has 16 points, 9 rebounds. Markeith Morris, he had 10 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, and shot 4 of 10 from the field. 2 of 6 from downtown, played 25 minutes, had 3 steals, and a start for the Miami Heat. I really love what he was able to do tonight. He kept the Toronto Raptors in check. He can be an enforcer at times, and that's what the Miami Heat need. Kyle Lowry, he had a great game. 16 points, 6 rebounds, 10 assists, shot 4 of 8 from the field, 50% from downtown, and made 6 out of 7 of his free throws. He had one steal, was a plus 8 and a plus minus, and we know that he will be able to control the tempo in the playoffs which will be something that we need. But I want to talk about two players that will be the main, just the main reason why we will be able to have an advantage on every other team. We know the two players are Tyler Hero and Victor Oladipo. I told you guys, I said he just needs to get in the rhythm, go against some teams that aren't really in playoff contention. And that's what he did. He ended up getting some key minutes and now, Tonight, he had 21 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, shot 7 of 11 from the field, 6 of 9 from downtown. He chipped in with 2 steals and was a plus 5 and a plus minus. He's a versatile player. He can defend. He can score buckets, even facilitate for the Miami Heat. And that's what we really need. Tyler Hero, he had 18 points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists, shot 8 of 16 from the field, one of five from downtown and made one out of his two free throws, but he was still a plus seven and a plus minus. I didn't like his eight turnovers, but we know they will have some bench points by the time playoff comes around. We just need Bam Adebayo to make sure that he take care of the bigs in the Eastern Conference. We know that they have Joel Embiid. We know that they have Giannis Antetokounmpo, so it will all be on his shoulders. The main reason why we won tonight is because we shot 51.9% from the field and held the Toronto Raptors to 42.2%. We shot 47.4% from downtown and held the Toronto Raptors to 30.8%. What I didn't like was we only had 22 free throw attempts and shot 63.6% .6 from the field, while the Toronto Raptors had made 79.4% of their free throws and got to the line 34 times. We were out rebounded. We turned the ball over three more times than the Raptors, but on the plus side, we were a plus 11 in assists, which means that the ball was flowing for us. All we need to do is make sure we keep control of the rock and we will be good. To close out the season, we have to go against the Charlotte Hornets, Atlanta Hawks, then the Orlando Magic. All of these games, we should be able to win unless we decide to take some rest just because we held down the number one seed but I really love what this team is doing. I thought that we would play the Brooklyn Nets, but right now, they're 10th in the Eastern Conference. And if they end up not making the playoffs, it's something worse than what the Los Angeles Lakers are doing right now in my opinion. Anthony Davis has been out. Russell Westbrook, he isn't a fit for the team. But with the Brooklyn Nets, they have Kevin Durant, Seth Curry, and even though Ben Simmons isn't playing, Kyrie Irving, has played in enough games to make sure that they're at least a top eight seed in the east but anything is possible as the miami heat we have to remain focused try to not get too big-headed because we're a great team
but there is a lot of talent in the Eastern Conference. Now, before I head out, you guys, I do have two questions. But first, make sure you follow me on both of my Instagram pages. Once I reach 1,100 followers, I will be giving away an NBA jersey of your choice. And once I reach 5,000 subs on this channel, I'll be giving away another NBA jersey. All you have to do is comment Miami Heat in my DMs. Make sure you're still following me because if you unfollow, you won't be able to win a jersey. Now, the questions that I have for today is one, who do you prefer to play in the Eastern Conference first round matchup? Would it be the Cleveland Cavaliers, Atlanta Hawks, Charlotte Hornets, or the Brooklyn Nets? Do you want the easy way out? Do you want to go against a hard team? I don't know. For me, I want to be guaranteed for the next round. I don't want to be so focused on trying to prove our title because we earned it. We have what we need and it's all about game planning. So I'm going after the Charlotte Hornets. Hopefully they can get a game off the Brooklyn Nets. Hopefully they can beat the Atlanta Hawks or the Cleveland Cavaliers because I really love that matchup for the Miami Heat. Now they do have talent, but I don't know if they can hold us on the defensive side of the ball. Now, the next question that I have for today is, how confident are you that the Miami Heat will make it to the NBA Finals? I'm not gonna talk about that one personally because people might say that I'm a little biased, but I don't know you guys. I'ma just say that they have a good chance of making it. All they have to do is watch out for the Celtics, Bucks, Sixers, and I'm not really worried about the Bulls. Gabe Vincent, all we have to do is put him in the game and it'll be all she wrote. But I appreciate all you guys loving your support. And as always, this your boy Scotty Ice, AKA Baby Braun, and you already know, I'm out.